Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. And let's get right into today's video. So today's video, I'm going to be making a Christmas nail design. And I'm going to be using these um, glitter Christmas trees, the red and green ones. And then also these uh, Christmas nail stickers along with this red chrome design uh red chrome powder and um i believe i got that from a, Bo a born pretty pr package um and then also i'm gonna use this gold glitter and uh what else um yes this my madam glam gold gel paint and Madam Glam White Gel Paint, my two favorite gel paints, um, along with some gems, guys. I'm going to be using some gem gems in the end. Haven't done that in a while. And um, for this set, I'm going to be using these nail tips. And these nail tips came with the Born Pretty um, like Gelex Dupe set with their faux cover tips and um i have that in one of my previous videos where they have their own lamp nail tips came with like french tip um shape stickers um i'll leave the link uh above so you guys check that video out but so these are the full cover tips that that born pretty package came with and i'm gonna be using them for the first time and i believe these are like extra long coffin tips so um as usual um, after i size them up i am going to file the free edge make sure that's nice and straight and then file around the cuticle area to make sure that it's nice and round and fits my cuticle um perfect Now for two of the nails, my pointer and my ring finger, I'm going to do the lazy girl method. And basically that means I'm just going to encapsulate these nails with my Christmas tree um, glitter, if you want to call that, right? Or is it like, um, I don't know, decals? Yeah, maybe they're like decals um, because they are kind of thick. They're not really... Maybe they can call it be glitter. I don't know, guys. Whatever you guys want to call them. Um, nail glitters, nail decals. But yes, my Christmas tree nail decals. And I'm taking my Born Pretty reflective top coat to basically encapsulate them with. Because I was like, oh, I want to use some glitter with it. Um, so I thought that was a great idea to uh, use that. So that will help um, stick the uh, christmas trees and this gold glitter in the into the tips so like i said i'm only going to do that for the ring finger and the pointer finger so i'm taking my tweezers here and like i said i've already put the reflective glitter top coat from born pretty inside of the well and so i didn't realize how thick these decals were so um they weren't fitting in the well as I wanted to. So what I had to do was basically take the gel and then take, as you can see here, so I'm taking my tweezer and push it against the tree and curing it in the light um, at the same time. So that was the only way that I was able to like stick it in perfectly without it like bending and um being close you know close to the nail so i take the reflective top coat and i'm basically just laying it as i go um and making sure that the trees are sticking to the nail so every time i put a tree i make sure i put a thin layer of this reflective top coat and then um so i put a 
thin layer of the reflective top coat and then I put a Christmas tree wherever I want it to be and then make sure that I put my lamp on and push the tweezers against the tree so it's um into you know gets cured into the nail and I do that for both nails and I'm also um, taking my gold glitter and encapsulating it also or you know just pushing it inside the um the nail um just to have that golden look because I wanted some gold with this some red and some green you know make it nice and um Christmassy so yeah like I said I'm just gonna layer um layer this up make sure I get all the nail decals that I want and I'm going to do that also for the um, pointer finger. So that's how it looks so far. So I was satisfied that with this look. And I moved on to the next nail. And did the exact same thing for the next nail. And now this is how they look once they're all done. And before I put on my nail tips, I go in with my, I put on my Melody Suzy um, UVL, UV LED protective glove. And I just do that, guys, because I'm always doing my nails um, just to, you know, protect them from the LED, the exposure that I'm always getting. And so like always to, um, put on my full cover tips, I use my Born Pretty peel off, uh, base coat. And that is just because I like to pop them, these nails off after I'm done and go into another set. So I continue to do that for all of the nails. And um, as you can see here, this is how I put them on. Do it at a 94 degree, 90, oh, 94, <laughs> what am I talking about? A 90 degree angle and then place it in the lamp. So now these nail tips reminded me of like old school nail tips um, where like the middle finger is super, super long and so is the thumb. And they are really on the curved side. I mean, I like like it. I like the fact that it gives like an apex, but I thought it was just a little bit too curved, and I didn't like the shape too much um, after the design. But yeah, uh, like I said, while I was doing it here, I was just like, okay, let me um, file now. I'm like filing the free edge after I, I cut the middle tip because like I said it was too long and then I go in and also cut down the thumb because it that was also super long so yeah um I cut it down um just so that it can be even because you know the new school way of doing tips like all of the nail tips are even the same length Back in the day, I remember like the thumb would be the thumb and the middle, the thumb and the middle finger would be the longest nails, um, while the pinky would be like the shortest. Um, yeah, that was back in the day, but now, you know, it's not like that, and I like it way better now, where all of the nail tips is the same length. So, like I said, now I'm just filing. I'm going to go around the cuticle area. And for this set, I'm just going to use my hand file. I didn't want to use my drill because I just felt like I didn't need to. I really didn't have any leakage. And I felt like I did a pretty good job um, with my application, my little Gelix dupe application. So, yeah, I'm going around the cuticle area buffing the um, nail plate and making sure that that free edge is nice and straight. And then um, once I'm done filing, I am going to go in 
dust it off, use some alcohol, and then use my base coat and do a thin layer of base coat. As you can see here, I'm going to take my nail reserve base coat, do a thin layer of that, and then cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so now for my pinky, my what middle finger and the thumb finger, I decided that I was going to do basically an ombre. So with my Nail Reserve BFF, this is the red color. Um, and with my Nail Reserve Do Me A Favor, that was going to be, well, that is going to be the... Um, basically like the nude color for the ombre. So because I wanted to make these red uh, tips um, chrome, I'm going to do that first. Um, that is very important when you're doing chrome. Make sure that you do this first with the chrome so that it doesn't get everywhere. And because I only wanted the red to be chrome, that is why I'm doing it like this. So I'm going to do a uh, basically two coats of this um, no Reserve BFF, cure that in the lamp, and then um, once I am done with this, I'm going to take my No Reserve top coat, no wipe type top coat, um, cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then come back and do my chrome design. So once the top coat is um, all cured, I am, and make sure that it's n no white because you do not want a sticky layer or else it will not come out chrome. It'll come out like a glitter. So now I'm just going to rub it in. Make sure you rub it in nice and um, hard into the, the um, top coat and make sure that you get it all over um around the nail make sure that you don't leave any spots and then once i'm done with the chrome i dust it dust off the extra residue and then before i cure anything or do anything else i go back in with my no white top coat and this is basically sealing that chrome um powder that you just did because um if you don't do this um, and you try to like wash your hands or put alcohol, it will basically take off everything that you just did. The chrome powder will wipe off. So this is basically sealing that chrome powder and making sure that it stays um, by adding this no white top coat. And then you're good to go to do the rest of the, um, the, the, the your whatever designs that you're going to do. So to get off that extra residue from the chrome I am using some alcohol, and as you can see, it's only taking off that extra residue. And now I'm going in with Do Me A Favor from Nail Reserve. And this is one of my favorite, like, nudish base uh, coats. I think this is, like, a perfect um, color for ombres or just, like I said, a base coat where you want to do a design on. It's really great with, um, I think it goes really well with my skin tone and I'm pretty sure it'll go well with um, a lot of other skin tones. Um, so here, like I said, this is going to be my ombre and I am doing a, a differently. Um, I find there's like so many different ways to do ombres with gel polish and I like that a lot. So... Um, I'm going from the cuticle and down to where I want my 
ombre to end and that's like somewhat like not towards the middle maybe like right above the middle um where my natural nail plate is and just a little bit up below that so i'm doing thin layers for the first coat and then once i'm done with the thin layers i will go in with my ombre brush and show you how i ombre these nails So now I'm going to take my ombre brush, like I said, and just ombre that gel polish into the nail. And it, it becomes like so seamless. I know in my like previous video, I did it um, when I had a clear tip, I used like a base coat. But this actually worked really, really well without me having to do that. So, um, I just, like I said, I'm just ombreing it out. I really love this ombre brush. Um, it does a great job making that ombre look so seamless. Now, this is the first coat and I do go in with a second coat just to make sure that it is nice and opaque. And I just wipe off any, um, extra gel polish that I might have got, gotten, um, around the cuticle area so now I'm once I'm done with my ombre I'm going in with my Madame Glam wipe um, gel paint and I saw this design from it's not polish Tao Tai or tower I, I want to say that's her name but um, she made these like heart designs and it's like an imitation of a Santa Santa Claus hat, but she did it out of a heart. And I thought that was so, so cute. I will drop a picture so I can show you like what I was talk what I'm talking about. Um she might have done a you know, way better than I did, but that is where I got this uh cute little idea from um, and that's where you why you see me making like this heart design because I'm you're probably like, why is she making hearts for Christmas? I mean, even though, you know, it's a love loving season and you want to be with your family and it's, you know, a loving holiday. But like I said, this I got this idea from not polish Tao. Um, like and I will put up that picture that shows how she made the hearts um, and uh, made it look like a Santa Claus hat because I've seen that design before where they make it like fluffy. So after I make the heart, I'm going to um, basically like make it into a, like a hat and I'll do that as soon as I'm done. I'll show you what I'm talking about as soon as I'm done making this heart. So now I'm going in and I'm making these like little lines outside of the heart. I did not cure the heart yet. So I'm making some lines and making it look like fluffy. Like I have no idea how to explain it, but I'm making it just, yeah, like I guess like a fluffy, a fluffy um thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I have no idea how to what i'm trying to say like but i like i said i got this idea from um a picture that i saw and i thought it was cute and to me it's just an imitation of a santa claus hat but in the shape of a heart so i'm making like the fluffy part of it and 
like I said, I'm just taking my liner brush and making some lines out of it. And this is how it looks. I think it's like so cute and cool. But yeah, I'm going to do that for the middle finger along with the thumb. And let me know what you guys think if you like this or not. Um yeah <laughs> let me know if this you think this is like a fail or it's a pass but yeah i think this was cute at the at the end i thought it was like super cute so like i said i'm just gonna continue to do that for the um, middle finger and the thumb and guys i just want to let you know i will be having a giveaway coming up I don't know if I'm going to do like a two day giveaway or three day giveaway. It all depends on how many videos I'm able to upload before Christmas. And this is going to be like a Christmas giveaway. So it's going to be hopefully it can be a three day Christmas giveaway. Um, that is what my expectations are. But like I said, it all depends on how fast I can get these videos out and then, you know, get these giveaways going. Um, I'm not sure. I will be, I do know I will be giving away like a dip powder set, um, a poly gel set, and a, um what else was it i think a gel polish set the details will be coming shortly that i will give in my next video so um i will be able to show you guys what i'm actually going to give away but right now this is what i believe i'm giving away for the three items so one giveaway will be a poly gel kit next item will be like a gel polish and then another item will be a dip powder kit. Um, I'm not sure of the brands yet, but um, just watch my upcoming videos and you guys will be able to know what the goodies are. And, um, and I'll give all the instructions on how to win in uh, my upcoming videos also. So, yeah, guys, I'm just finishing up this heart design and then I will move on to the next design. And then I decided to go in with my gold gel paint and do the exact same thing, just um, 
make some lines um, around the heart, like some fluffy lines. And I'm just using the gold because I wanted to pop a little bit, give some nice gold um, glitter, make it shiny. Like I said, this is Christmas and, you know, I was doing a little bit of everything. Um, you wanted to make it, you know, nice and Christmassy. <laughs> I hope everyone, by the way, has a great Christmas, even though I know it's like a week a little over a week um but yeah um can't wait to show you guys all of the christmas nail art that i have coming coming up in my next videos or upcoming videos So this is how they look once they were all done. Like I said, I think these are coming out super, super cute. I really like the way they look so far. And so now I'm going to add some um, gold Christmas stickers. And I believe I also got this in a PR package. Um, so I was like, oh, why not use them? So I'm going to use some of these like Christmas balls that's coming down and I'm going to use them. I'm going to take my tweezers and just peel it off and stick them only to the um, red chrome design. So I'm putting that at the tip right there. Then I'm going to put one on the middle finger and along with the um, pinky finger. And I'm also going to use some other stickers um for the top part of the nail so it doesn't look too plain because i didn't want these nails to look plain you know i wanted to them to look so christmasy and dolled up you know so um i was like let me use another st let me add some stickers at the top of the nail since i have some at the bottom let me use some at the top so i am going to take a I believe it was a bow. Yeah, I took like a little small bow and I put that on the pinky in the middle right there. And then I took like a, um, I don't know what it's called, this Christmas um, bulb. I think it's like a bulb, right? Like, where is it? Let me see. Yeah, this right here. So it's like a Christmas bulb, I think that is. And I just put that on the side right there. And then I took a nice little cute reindeer and I put that on my thumb. So what I realized for my thumb is that the nail polish wrinkled. And I think that was that was just because my thumb wasn't in my nail light lamp properly. So the trick, what I was trying to do with the trick with that is that sometimes if it doesn't cure properly, you can add some um, top coat at the end and it'll cure fine. So I'm that's what I'm hoping what will happen. It'll that it'll go away. So um, I decided that I wanted to add a little white um, dots to my. Uh, gold stickers I saw like someone do that before like they took some stickers and then like just added on to it and I thought that was a great idea so I took like a dot and just put it not too much like I didn't add too much design but I put like a, a white dot on the top of the bulb there then I put a white dot in the middle of the bow and then a dot at each of the legs of the reindeer which i thought was super super cute i thought that you see that look at that i thought that was so cute and then this is how they look right look how pretty that looks so far like i said guys i love this ombre but you see that the 
wrinkle of the thumb. So like I said, I'm hoping the top coat will um, make take out that wrinkle. It sometimes does, does, sometimes it doesn't. And then I also added two dots to the um, Christmas balls at the bottom. And now I'm going to take some um, rhinestone gem, uh, what is it? Rhinestone uh, gel and add some, um, like some little charms and stuff. So I'm taking this like, so this reminded me of like a reef, a gold reef. So that's why I did that. So I took this gold like reef or circle and I put one there and then I took a red, um, crystal and put it in the middle and I did the same thing for the um ring finger and then I just started adding some more rhinestones and I used like just two more rhinestones and some carry gold carrier beads to um just make it look pretty and nice you know um, it's Christmas, you know, why not look all blinged out, nice, cute, and Christmassy design, um, yeah, so, um, once I like this, I was like, this is cute, at first I was just gonna leave it like this, but then I was like, no, I should add a little bit more, um, rhinestones and the carrier beads, so that's what I start to do here, um, try to figure out which rhinestones, how did I want to place this? So I just add some more rhinestone gel to the bottom. And this is, was like, this rhinestone was, um, gel was pretty thick, which is a good thing. Cause that means it's going to most likely last longer. Um, so I do that to both of the nails and then start adding my, um, crystals. Now, once I was done adding all the rhinestones, I'm going to add some top coat and top coat all of these nails and cure them for 60 seconds and then come back with the final look. And now here is the final look, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this nail set. I think this is super, super cute. I love that the um, decals look encapsulated. I love my little heart Santa Claus looking hat. I love the stickers. I think I did a real, you know, a pretty good job with my little ombre and chrome design. It's like a little bit of everything in this um, Christmas nail design. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. And I'll see you guys next time.